Escuchar a los autores hablar sobre su obra es otra manera de leerlos. El escritor israelí Edgar Keret presenta en nuestro país Tuberías, su primer libro publicado hace más de 20 años. I think that whenever I, I publish a collection of short stories, it kind of uh, it, it all resolves on my feeling and my emotion and the things that had bothered me in a certain period in my life. This book uh, has to, was written mostly during my army service, so I think that if I look at the, at the theme that he deals with, is basically the individual against the group, uh, uh, the uh, places in which you question authority, uh, some some fight to uh, to express your individualism, and all those other issues that uh, had bothered me at that time. Well, I think that reality is always uh, very dominant in what you you write because uh, basically, what triggers a story is always something that happens to you in real life. But I think that when you write a story, you can many times take this uh, uh, reality and uh, uh, being be able to to take out of it something that is much more abstract, much more philosophical. Uh, Uh, something that is less practical and yet at the same time has some more uh, wisdom in it. And for me the, the process of writing is always uh, seeing a specific action in the world and, and trying to write something that will not only contain that action but will be able to take something from this action as a metaphor about existence. That I, when I read a book, I, I, I have to hold it in my hand. I have to feel that one, one page is different from the other, that I can, you know, mark a sentence that interests me or, you know, have a stain on it, you know. So th that I'm in some sort of kind of a, a dialogue with this object and it's not only something that I uh, watch. Para TV UNAM, Rosa Brizuela.